Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is surprisingly extremely fun. I have been having an absolute blast with this mode and I am absolutely shocked. I was not expecting this mode to be as good as it is now and I'm just super happy. In my opinion, this might be the most impressive mode in the whole entire game. Uh, I've been grinding out the camels. I'm going to go for the mastery camel for zombies in this game. I decided I was going to go for the multiplayer one, but I decided to go for the zombies one because I felt like it was better. But overall, I've been having a blast just, just playing the game. It's, and it's been so chill. And there's multiple reasons why I'm absolutely loving zombies. Number one, the camel is obviously better, so I'm going to go for that. That's number one. Number two, you get to just relax and just grind out for camos and just get XP and everything without having to sweat. Because we all know multiplayer is extremely sweaty. And to be able to go from multiplayer to zombies and just chill is extremely fun, man. And I love it a lot. And number three is being able to max out your weapons and battle pass extremely fast. You can literally level up a gun from zero to whatever max out level it is. In literally one game in literally one game you pop a XP token you farm the X fill bases and you're good to go It's literally that simple I have had a blast with this and I am definitely looking forward to continuing the grind for this for these camos and I'm excited for it now there are a couple things that I'm not the biggest fan of which I'll go into real quick before we continue on with this video but that is the fact that it is pretty much DMZ and so what's annoying about that is we're on this huge open world which I'm not the biggest fan of still I feel like you know I would love to be in a closed quarters match you know like how we normally are and just play zombies you know I, I wish that's what we were doing and also I hate the fact that if you get downed you literally cannot play this mode for an hour and it sucks and I hate when games do this because you spend 70 to 100 dollars on a game not being able to play whatever you want for a game that you paid for in my opinion is annoying so obviously they're probably gonna have bundles for you know stuff like that if you get down you can just get right back in I'm pretty sure so we'll see what happens I'm definitely looking forward to the updates with this game mode and hopefully they do add some sort of round based mode for zombies uh, I've been hearing rumors like devs have something planned for us for the people that like round based zombies so if they do that that's gonna be really cool but um, I, I just been enjoying the grind and it's been fair very easy too. like really it has not been difficult at all to get your camels up for the zombies and stuff so I've really been enjoying it and the objectives seem pretty cool some of the objectives are annoying like you know having to defend the base and stuff I'm not the biggest fan of that either, but other than that, I think that it's still a really good mode. And one thing I will definitely say that I really like is that you can go ahead and be a solo player and play this with no problem, you know? Obviously, if you have a team with you, it's gonna be much more, you know, it's gonna be a lot more easier when it comes to the harder levels. You know, just having your buddies with you, that's pretty cool and stuff, but as a solo player, you can definitely go ahead and play this whole mode solo and that's always a good thing to have. You know, it's so weird because I've actually never been a zombies player, like World World War II and, uh, World at War II, I, I'm sorry, uh, since Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, like, I, I've played the zombies, but I've never been a fan of them. Like, like I was like, ah, oh, whatever, like, I'm a, I was a, always a multiplayer guy, and I still am to this day, like, multiplayer is my go-to stuff. So, like, I never really gave zombies a try, but you wanna know something that's really crazy? The, the, the game, that got me into zombies, you guys are gonna be blown away. The game that ma started making me love zombies was Vanguard. Yes, Vanguard Zombies is what shifted my mind into really enjoying zombies. I think that that was super fun because we had the objectives. There's plenty of zombies to kill. There is plenty of weapons to get and you can level up your weapons, get the camos and being able to just max out your your xp and getting getting uh, money and stuff from there i really enjoyed it i really enjoyed the vanguard experience of zombies because i felt like it was well balanced it was it's pretty much what this is because there's objectives while there's also zombies but it's just on a larger map but if they can make it where it was like vanguard where it's a, a smaller map and he had different objectives to do and it's only for zombies I mean, it just made it so much easier because like, I was just grinding for camels, so grinding for camels in that small environment while also getting a ton of like money to buy, you know, pack a punch and all that stuff, and XP to level up my guns and stuff, and work on the battle pass, it was just, it was amazing. And so now, from now on, every time there's a zombie experience, I'm pretty much going to be going for the mastery camel 
for that zombie game. And I definitely cannot wait to see what Treyarch is working on. And hopefully it is a round base because I also do like round base zombies as well because it's just it is what it is. It's round base. So you, you know, kill a whole bunch of zombies, get your pack a bunch, get your perks, and then there you go. So hopefully they can do that. And it'll be cool if they can add if they can have this, you know, DMZ zombies. They can have Vanguard type of zombies and their original round base zombies as well. So Overall, that's another great thing that I love about them. Another cool perk that comes with playing zombies is that if there's a weapon that you have unlocked or don't have lock that's locked right now, you can go ahead and search for it in the DMZ and then exfil and you'll have it unlocked. So that's another really cool thing. Uh, I just think that's awesome. And you can start leveling up different weapons that you find as well in DMZ. So if you see a weapon, you want to just use it and kill a bunch of zombies, you can already have that gun leveled up. It's just been a great experience overall. It's been super fun, super relaxing. And I think that's the most important part about it is that it's so relaxing. And, and in fact, I did pick up the PlayStation Portal, which should be coming in in the next couple of days. I pre-ordered it, should be coming in in a couple of days. And man, that's gonna be coming in so clutch for this camel grind. Being able to just chill, like not even have to be at my desk to be able to play zombies is going to be just magical. <laughs> so I cannot wait for that and I'm super excited to see what, what's to come with that. One thing I will say about being on this big map is that some of the camel challenges require you to kill a certain... And so obviously you know once you get used to the, the map you know where to go to find them but there's times where they're either not there or you got them and you still need more so you don't really know where to go and so since you're on the big map you're better off just exfilling and then re-entering another <laughs> match to try and get the kills. So that's another big thing that I'm just not the biggest fan of. And as you guys can tell, like I'm not the biggest fan of open world games like that. Like obviously I play open world games because I'm a gamer, you know, Jex Gaming is what I do, but I still love linear games more. So that's the thing that irritates me the most because that's what I'm currently doing right now. I have to try and just run all over the map trying to find a certain enemy that way I can get the camels and move on to the next weapons, which is time consuming, most definitely. Hey, I'm getting the job done, so that's what I gotta do. That's what I gotta do, you know? <laughs> but I definitely wanna know what you guys think about the zombie experience. I know there's been a couple exploits and glitches, and I believe they gotten fixed right now, so you should be good to go now. Luckily, I haven't really seen any exploits or glitches going on in my lobbies, which is great, because there's a, a glitch that could there was an exploit where players were kicking players out. Or it was pretty much ending the whole lobby. So everybody that was in that lobby would lose all their progression and would have to wait an hour to play again. Which sucks, man. So luckily it did get fixed. And I'm just enjoying the grind. I'm going to continue the grind today. Uh, I might try to just go all in and try to finish up the SMGs. Uh, I know I need to start that soon because I'm almost done with the assault rifles as you guys can see. I'm on one more assault rifle, and then we're going to move on to the SMGs. But overall, I have just been enjoying this whole experience. What a surprise. I mean, what an absolute surprise because multiplayer, it's fun. You know, multiplayer is always fun. But for some odd reason, I just find this multiplayer to be very inconsistent and very, very strangely campy. I don't know why. And, and here's one thing I want to say about the multiplayer. I know this is a zombie video, but... I also want to throw in my opinions on multiplayer right now. I know a lot of people haven't been enjoying it, uh, and there's a lot of people that have been. I honestly have been enjoying it, but like I said, I just feel like it's very inconsistent. With hit detection, there's been times where I've clearly hit an enemy, and <laughs> the, the, the gun doesn't register it. The game doesn't register it. So it's been really weird. And there's also been times where the lobby is just feels so empty, and it's a full match, and people are just camping. I don't know if... People are scared of the 150 health and they don't want to get into gunfights and they're just like camping or what it is. And I know the movement in this game is super fast and stuff, but that's but if you're a skilled player and you have a high IQ, you understand that really this map, this this um this multiplayer, yeah, it's fast, but the strategy is to still be very passive, very you know you know patient because if you just run all over the place you're gonna get melted so you definitely gotta check your corners gotta check everything which does suck it's not the game doesn't flow like a, a OG Call of Duty it's it, at least it's better than Modern Warfare 2 I'll say that and it does expose how bad the original Modern Warfare 2 maps are I mean in my opinion I'm a Black Ops guy 
I've honestly never really been the biggest fan of Modern Warfare games. Like, they're cool. Like, I'll take them most definitely. And there's times where I'm like, man, I cannot wait for a, for a Modern Warfare game. You know? Uh, obviously, we you know, we all love the OGs. But in my opinion, the Black Ops games have always been, like, the best Call of Duties, in my opinion. Like, you, they, like look at Cold War. And let me just say this one last thing, all right? This is going to be something that's going to cause a lot of comments. But in my opinion, all right, I'm, I'm biased. I love Black Ops 2. I think Black Ops 2 is the best Call of Duty of all time. But if Black Ops Cold War had a couple fixes with different stuff, I think that might have been the black, best Call of Duty game of all time. The, like, it was just insanely good with how the gameplay was and everything. In my opinion, I truly think that Black Ops Cold War is an insane Call of Duty. And I cannot wait for Treyarch's next game with zombies, with multiplayer. With it being balanced, I cannot wait to see what they have in store. But let me know what you guys think about zombies and also what you guys think about multiplayer. I have more uh, bundle reviews dropping soon, so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm signing out. Peace.